Justin Herbert confirms Brandon Staley made an absurd Chargers coaching gaffe. Hey, Bolts fam, gather around because I've got some juicy details about our main man, Justin Herbert, and some past coaching blunders that are worth revisiting. Even with a shiny new head coach and an overhauled front office, it's clear that Herbert is the cornerstone of our Super Bowl dreams. The Chargers' success hinges on his talent and leadership. Jim Harbaugh, our new head coach, recognizes Herbert's brilliance and is pulling out all the stops to make sure he's in the best possible position to succeed. That's why the Chargers grabbed Joe Alt, the top tackle in the draft, to protect Herbert. Plus, they worked on improving the run game, which was, let's face it, pretty dismal last season. But here's the kicker. Harbaugh also made a strategic hire by bringing back Shane Day as the quarterback's coach. This move wasn't random. Herbert himself confirmed he was asked for his input, and he vouched for Day. They had a great relationship before, and it's no surprise that Herbert wanted him back. Now this is where it gets interesting. Justin Herbert's confirmation that he wanted Shane Day highlights a glaring mistake by former head coach Brandon Staley. It's not just Khalil Mack who threw shade at last season's coaching staff. Now we've got Herbert indirectly pointing out Staley's oversight. Staley let go of Day after the 2021 season, even though Herbert clearly valued his input and their rapport. To be fair, when Staley decided to shake things up and brought in Joe Lombardi, it's common to see position coaches leave with the old regime. But not considering Herbert's preference was a big misstep. Herbert doesn't need Day to be great, but having his preferred coach certainly helps. This slip-up only shows that Staley might not have had a strong grasp on the locker room dynamics. Think about this. Herbert was still in the process of negotiating his extension back then. What if he took Staley's decision personally? Luckily for us, Herbert is a class act and didn't let it affect his commitment to the Chargers. Imagine if he had a different personality and chose to factor this slight into his future decisions. The Chargers dodged a bullet there, especially now that we've moved on from Staley. So here we are, with Shane Day back in the building and ready to reignite that special connection with Herbert. All it took was Harbaugh actually listening to his quarterback, something Staley apparently didn't do. If you're as pumped as I am about this upcoming season and want to stay in the loop with all things Chargers, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's gear up for a fantastic season ahead, Bolts Nation.